Hey, welcome to the Halloween Game Dungeon. This year I wanted to pick something that was likely to deliver. What I don't want for Halloween is going to some rundown house and you spend the whole game wandering the house and at the end you find there's a ghost there. It was a ghost. Or worse yet, no ghost. There was nothing. So with that in mind, we have Terror Tracks, Track of the Vampire. So we're gonna get vampires straight up. It's in the title. I haven't played this before, but it's giving me the right vibe. Everyone knows to dial 911 in case of emergency. Everyone knows that a 911 operator on the other end will dispatch police, fire, and medical personnel to rescue. The narrator sounds a little People like Jack Nicholson. Know what happens to the strange calls? Calls of a supernatural nature. No, cops will shoot those too. These calls are referred to a covert agency known as TRAX. TRAX is an acronym for Trace, Research, Analyze, and Exterminate. Okay. That's where you come in. You control a network of operatives who secretly investigate mysterious events of which the general public has no knowledge. Yep, that's me. From this point on, you will deal with the TRAX interface computer. I will turn you over to it now. Uh -oh. Welcome to Trax Interface. You can think of me as a digital ghost. I am your interface with the Trax officers you will deploy. I will offer you options for deployment. But as stated by the Trax Charter, you, a living, non-tainted human, must make the decisions. We need that culpability. I will print your options on the screen, like this. As the decision becomes more urgent, the colors will shift from green to yellow to red. If you do not select an option in time, the officer will select his own. I do not recommend this. Yeah, don't let our officers make decisions. That would be a nightmare. Please stand by for the next 911 referral. Well, how you doing, partner? The name's Graves, and I guess you and I are going to be working together tonight. Hi, Graves. Which, of course, means that uh, you get all the thrills while I take all the risks. Well, look at well, you. Let me show you my ordinance. First off, you got your basic crucifix. It's garlic, which is most excellent for dispatching fang jobs, hairballs, and biting it. Next up, you got salt for rotters and various other undead, and of course, your holy water. Don't leave home without it. I'm getting a certain vibe off of Graves. Now I'm locked and loaded with 45 caliber silver specials. The idea behind these beauties is that they will get you dead. Even if you've already been that way. And, uh, we put all kinds of nasty business in these hollow points. And yes, Graves is a secure man with nothing to prove to anyone. Are my heads up shades. Yeah, show me his sunglasses. They got radio, seat, cam, and mic. So cool. They let you hear what I hear, see what I see. They got autofocus and eye track and spectral enhancers so you can see the things that go bump in the night. Hey, Graves, tell us what kind of car you drive and how much you can bench. Now, this little beauty here it monitors my heart rate, stress level, and temperature, and a bunch of other stuff that. We don't even need to go. Officer one. Ah. Looks like we got some incoming, so heads up. And remember one thing, pal. The life you're risking is mine. Later. Well, I think I see why the computer says not to leave important decisions to the officers. Please, please, calm down and speak slowly and clearly. I am here to help. I don't know what they're saying. There's an awful lot of beeping from the dispatch office. Your options. A. Dispatch operative to location. Or B. Reanalyze. Analyze the call. I couldn't hear anything. 911, what is your emergency? Please, please, calm down and speak slowly and clearly. I am here to help. So they're both vampires. 
This is a vampire domestic dispute. Blood oath is an oath that all vampires take never to reveal the existence of vampires. It transcends personal animosities. Phone call terminated. So Trax isn't that different from regular cops. Domestic disputes are a whole hell of a lot of what they respond to also. All right, Trax, I'm stepping off the elevator and I'm making entry. I got a dark apartment. And I got a bad feeling about this place. Now is my time. I am the light in the darkness. Who the hell are you? See, we didn't have to wait an hour for some ghost. Our hero's getting stabbed already. Uh, I'm okay, Trax. I dodged that damn needle. The bastard ran right through that sliding glass door over there. Man, it must be a three-story drop, Trax. Why don't you send out a... That looks like one story. With a hefty bag and a spatula. Wait a second, there's, there's no body down there, Trax. Should I go outside and look for him or stay here and check out the apartment? May as well check the apartment. The vampire probably ran off. All right, I'm adjusting the autofocus. Oh, black cat, but it didn't cross its path. Yeah, dead movie stars always give me the creeps. You know, I can't tell how serious this game is taking itself. I mean, Graves' voice really sounds like a parody of a tough guy, but Graves himself strikes me as totally believable. That combination of someone talking big like they have something to prove, and someone who has seen some action. We got a cold one Aha! Over there. Looks to be like a female in her late 20s. Beautiful. Once was anyways. I'm gonna check for Pulse here real quick. Those are some yeah. good workman's gloves for pulse checking. Check for fangs. This is the part of my job I absolutely love. <laughs> Why is that, Graves? <laughs> Why don't you like checking for fangs, Graves? Are you conscious? Checking heart rate. I'm okay, Trax. I don't know how, but... Uh, I'm alive. She could have killed me, but she didn't. Must have been my charming good looks. I feel like Trax needs an overhaul of their protocols. What Graves did was the equivalent of sticking your hand in an alligator's mouth. And it's only dumb luck he's alive, and he knows that. Seems like he would have been happy to follow a safer protocol, but apparently there is none. Like restrainer, then check for fangs? Well, what have we here? A prescription bag. Dr. Beatus Hemos. Killing horse? Select oh, damn. Uh, I guess apartment. Search the apartment. That came up kind of fast. I wasn't ready for it. Again, we're already here. Let's check the couch. We get a purse over here. And a big book here. Check today's entry. <laughs> oh, man. This chick sure had a lot of dates. Different guy every single night. What a tramp. Please ignore sexist attitude of officer. Well, it's kind of jumping the gun a bit to call him sexist. Plus, you're a computer ghost. How about we talk about those squares on your head? Oh, there's a paycheck from the late day dating service. Oh, killing noise! I get it. She was scamming losers who can't get... Uh, commercial. Work the swing shift? My love life used to do the graveyard shift. Can't date until real late. I thought it was too late for me. Then I found out about late day. Whoa, that's abrupt. This game keeps moving. Emergency call was forwarded to us from 911. Please analyze and deploy a second tracks officer. I will monitor Officer Graves and break in when appropriate. Yeah, 911, what's your emergency? Beeping and whispering, again. We'll find out when we get there. Hi. Hi. My name is Allison Walken, and I'll be your guide for this evening of death and destruction. I understand that you're our new tracks commander. Well, we go through tracks commanders like whales go through plankton. That's kind of a forced so simile. one thing perfectly clear. I am not like Graves. I am not a psycho. But I'm not exactly the picture of health, or I wouldn't be chasing boogeymen in the middle of the night, now would I? What's wrong with our camera? But the deal is I want to know who I'm killing before I kill them. Whatever. That's the difference between me and Graves. Anyway, the next time I see you, I'll be at the crime scene. Well, you're wearing black leather, so I guess I can trust and you. Patching in Officer Graves. Okay. 
Okay, tracks with the late date corporate headquarters. <laughs> what an ashtray. Businesses crawl off and die in places like this. All right, you want me to check it out, or you want me to head in there and do some business before they get wise to me? Nah, check the perimeter. Please, be careful. Okay, Drax, I'm walking around the building. The place is lit up like a Christmas tree from hell. Eh, I guess that's a little better than the whale simile. There's a babe on the phone. Oh, blowing smoke at some rube was too cheap to pay for a house call. <laughs> well, we can't all be connoisseurs like you, Graves. You know, if Graves lives long enough to retire, I feel like he has a novel in him. It wouldn't be a great novel, but it can maybe find its audience. You know, everything about this game is skating the line between stereotypical crime drama versus outright parody. I feel like some people knew it was a joke, but not everyone. Like, the director asked Graves to sound like a tough guy, and he made his tough guy voice as a joke, and the director said, good, let's go with that, and just move forward. You know, I read a good article from one of the original screenwriters for the Alone in the Dark movie, and in it he discussed how he tried to make a Lovecraftian mystery about an investigation, building the suspense, you know, like the game. But director Uwe Boll wanted the protagonist to have superpowers and special weapons, and to have gun battles and car chases because he thought that's how you make a scary movie. And I actually think I understand his logic because it's how I thought when I was five in that more is better. So if we have more things happening, that must make it a better movie, right? Now don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to imply Terror Tracks is like an Uwe Boll movie. This is put together way better than that. But I feel like maybe the director didn't fully realize what he was doing. It's a little too stupid to be taken seriously, but it takes itself slightly too serious to be a comedy. So it's just writing that line. Gray's voice keeps reminding me of another movie I saw called Range 15. Range 15 is not a good movie, but it wasn't trying to be one either. The best part of it was Gene Vandenham, who's supposed to be the best soldier ever. I'm hearing some vocal similarities. Someone has to protect us. There's God. Then there's me. God must be busy. Lucky for you, I don't think Sunday's off. Vandenham's character gave me this vibe like there's an inside joke I'm missing out on, but I'm not sure. Get you on the dark side of the moon, cheese squeeze. Keep your ears buttered up, blast it fire to the rain. What the fuck? Range 15 was loaded with inside military jokes, though that wasn't the problem. That helped. And they did it because of coins. You've got to understand, challenge coins are like pogue kryptonite. They're defenseless to their power. It's more the entire rest of the movie was the problem. I mean, these cuts of Van and Ham are making the movie look good, but, well, you were warned. Back to the game, Grace is going full creeper on us, and we have some sort of enhanced vision. Dad, I'm screaming at me about breaking the blood oath, whatever that is. And I said, hey, listen, if you're one of us, I didn't know it, but he just lost it. Okay, so they're both vampires? But you called 911 anyway? I'm getting confused. Impudent American bastards! Well, sure enough, it's Dr. Hemos. You want me to snag him before he gets in there? No, let's keep watching. That track's last chance. They're making it sound like I should go for him. Fine. Hey, Jerkwee, up against the wall, you're under arrest. What's the problem, officer? If you try anything funny, I'll turn you into a torch There job. must be someone mistake. I haven't done anything. I have no criminal record. Please! What'd you say for somebody who cares? Hey! What's going on out here? Hey! That's the guy I tried to chop! Oh, well, we won't miss him this time. <laughs> oh, this is going well. Yeah, I mean, three vampires. What were you gonna do? Officer One Heartbeat has stopped. Officer One, dead. I'm kind of glad he's dead. He's trying to bug me anyway. That does not negate the fact you owe me a refund. Oh, we don't owe you anything. 
What's the big idea trying to rip a fellow vamp? You should know better. I dislike the tawdry manner in which you operate in this country. What did she think she was doing, calling 911? Yeah, why did she, she do that? For breaking the blood oath. Oh, God, give me a break, will you? I've only been undead for a month. That is no excuse. Hey, it's 1990, not 1890. The blood oath is history. When we're finished slurping, let's just trash this place. I like how the vampires barely care about us and are more concerned with their own affairs. The two in the apartment just fled and gave up on us. It's like we're just some annoying kids. They don't have time for us unless we're being a problem. You know, in the secret world, the Templars got crap for being overzealous and killing bystanders. But I kind of see where they were coming from. Graves got wrecked. I mean, we don't know if everyone in the building is a vampire, but a lot of them are. So if Graves had just set fire to the building and shot everyone who came out, well, I'm not saying he should do that, but I'd understand. Vampires. On to our remaining agent. Oh, a topiary tragedy. Isn't that special? I feel like she got upstaged by Graves and she's just saying things for the sake of saying them. I'm in here. You gotta stop ah, him. Ah, hell. Oh, that sizzling sound, oh that's him. <laughs> Okay, this looks like a shoot situation. Gonna use flash and sound suppression. Great, they're not doing anything. Problem tracks. The flash seems to be hurting them more than the bullets. Hell, I might as well empty my clip. Either he's just charging or oh my. Your command of tracks has been an abject failure. Man. You wasted the lives of two officers and failed to capture or terminate either the succubi, hemos, or sug. Well, you have square holes in your head. You are finished here. We will be watching you. If you divulge any knowledge of tracks or our activities, you will be exterminated. Oh, oops. Okay, let's try again. Let's do everything different. So yeah, chase after the body. All right, Trax, I'm gonna motor outside the apartment and see what we can see here. All right, I'm directly below the window on the parking garage driveway. Three stories, my ass. But no road pizza, no sign of the perp. Hold on a second, Trax. Uh, Try to run me over. I didn't get a license plate. Here are your options. Give me the word and yeah, line. go. Alright, Hemos is ahead of me and he doesn't have a clue that he's being followed. He drives pretty well for a vamp on Bloodlust. Alright, let me get a lock on him. Try to pull up the license number. Yeah, let's see. 3JYW666. Figures. The vehicle is registered to Dr. Fetus Hemos. No Fetus Hemos? Old world vampire. He has cooperated with us on several occasions. Well, He's an informant? Either, but let's cut to the chase. You are authorized to track and observe Hemos. Personally, I don't see the point of trailing him without nailing him. But I guess that's why you're the boss and I'm the target. No, you're the operative, Graves. You're following the target. Ah, you'll figure it out. Looks like he's turning off. Okay, I've tracked him to his destination. I'm going after him on foot. Be prepared. We have reason to suspect that Hemos is in a state of bloodlust. That's what he must be. He left his lights on. Tough on the battery. If he's gonna do any more neck chopping tonight, he's gonna do it on foot. What's that Watch marching that. noise? Hold on a second, I just heard something. Exercise extreme caution. Damn it. Did he think I was stupid? Did he think I didn't see him following me? I don't think. Nevertheless, you're on to me, aren't you, Trax? You won't find me. I'll melt into the night and leave you to deal with Suggs. So this whole trip was a giant dead end. Well, we still have walking. Okay, don't shoot him. Hey, relax, handsome. I'm not gonna shoot you as long as you start talking. Oh, you know, you got no right to kill me. I've got this film from which my boy stole it from me. What is he talking about? Relax his face. Handsome. 
Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that was informative, but we didn't die. So the computer goes to saying the body of an executed serial killer was reanimated by the vampire doctor. Jesus, shake the camera some more, why don't you? And now he's hunting down people whom his organs were donated to. So we need to go to the hospital to head him off. Nurse, I need to find Gary Linhart's room. I'm sorry, ma'am. Visiting hours are over. Yeah, that's great. I'm not here for high tea. I'm trying to prevent a murder. High tea? Oh, my God. Jeez, that power didn't go off naturally. I said, where's Lynn? Everybody panic! Panic, everyone! Ah! Ah! Okay, we're done here. Chaos. Where's the kidney ward? The kidney ward. I didn't know hospitals had a kidney ward. Actually, we shouldn't go to the kidney ward. He's there waiting for us and kills us. Instead, we should have checked out the other patient. Oh, jeez, this place is the best argument for staying well I've seen in a long time. I keep taking those chewables. Snap your hey. fingers in her face! Excuse me, where's the ICU? I'm sorry, ma'am, visiting hours are over. Grab her! That's great, but this isn't a trick question, Einstein. Come on, grab her! Almost! Try again! Yeah, let me touch your hair. Okay, we're good. And here's the bait. Wow, Ooh, doggy, you don't look like any nurse who's been in here before. Yeah, and you're quite a treat. Listen, we've got reason to believe that you've been targeted by an attacker. We want to move you out of here, sir. Ain't nobody know how, no we're gonna run me off. Listen, I say now, listen here. Okay, don't shoot him. Need some advice, tracks. I hope you know how to use that gun, girl. Now you're gonna find out how I felt when I got fried. Forget the gun, douse him. Yeah, I got your bases covered there, huh? I hope you know how to use that gun. Forget the gun. Well, see you around, Senator. Bear in mind the previous ineffectiveness of your silver special. Yeah, hey, Ghost, how would you know my bullets aren't effective if I hadn't fired them? If I had fired them, I'd be dead right now. Of civilian lives. Well, why should I? Nobody else does. Someone's coming. Whoa, that was quick. Shit. Yeah, LA's finest over here, huh? If we wanted that, we could have just called the regular cops. No specialists needed. Yeah, walking. You see this? This is you. You have violated the track's charter regarding the lives of non-tainted humans. You are finished here. Yeah, I didn't have time to react. That was walking, taking the charge. Okay, everybody's screwed. We're trying again. So chasing after the body was just one long dead end. I had the right idea to begin with. Well, skipping ahead, I'm thinking going in still isn't the right move. Do we arrest him sooner? It doesn't feel right, but let's try it. You're under arrest. What is the meaning of this? I have done nothing. Turn around and put your hands please on put the fence. Down, sir. I have done nothing. Shut your pie hole and suck fits now. Officer, please, there must be some mistake. I have... Yep, there it is. You know, this really begs the question, just how is Graves expected to arrest a vampire exactly? I mean, he went out of his way to show us all his gear. None of this is for arrest, and it's obvious all the vampires are stronger than him. In True Blood, they can use silver nets or chains to detain vampires. Seems like he really needs something along those lines. I mean, tell me Graves wouldn't use this. I would use this. They wouldn't even need to be a vampire. Once again, I don't blame Graves for this. I blame the agency. Plus, why are we arresting him? Shouldn't we either follow him or just kill him on grounds of being a vampire? Why would he possibly talk if we arrest him? If you don't talk, we'll kill you. But if you do talk, we'll kill you. All right, let's try this again. Hi, I'm Kiranoia. Welcome to Late Date, sir. For a great date, we accept cash only. It's okay. Honestly, you can keep sir. talking. Go in there. Oh, relax. I got an appointment. Let's get out of the That's the guy from the apartment. You should know that gun is useless against us. Don't play dumb with me, pal. You know who I am and where I'm from. Only question is if you're going with me dead or undead. Oh, unless I'm quite mistaken. You don't have any victims and you don't have a case. Oh, you're right, but I'm not taking you to the station. I'm taking you to the lab. <laughs> They're attacking, Trex. Freeze, pal! One kill. Two kills. Yeah. Ah, ah, ah. Well, Trax, late data's out of business. This case is closed. 
Grace, how dumb are you? The head vampire ran out the door. I mean, good job on the others, but even I can see we're not done here. I hate to say it, but the computer was right. You really do need operators. And now I'm even more confused. At first, the vampires were hoping to get me on a technicality? So I need evidence that they killed someone? Then being a vampire isn't enough? I can understand if we need to wait to track him down to his lair, but what's with this vampire lawyer shit? I mean, we can't even pretend this is purely biological. Holy water and crosses hurt them. They're evil. End of story. And while I'm on it, why is Trax a secret organization? I mean, let's forget the fact that all 911 operators refer vampire calls to them. I checked. There are about 18,000 police stations in the U.S. The odds the secret won't get out are impossible. But even then, why keep it a secret? That's what the vampires want. They have a blood oath not to reveal themselves. Wouldn't we want their existence as public as possible? Personally, I don't see the point of trailing him without nailing him. Yeah, I'm with Graves here. Oh, damn, it just hit me. Graves isn't dumb. He's smarter than I was. Let's rewind. Back when he came into the office, we saw this message. Do not exterminate. So the other vampires were open season, but Hemos was off limits. Really, it was suicide for Trax to give Graves that order while walking into a den of them, but he got lucky and did it anyway. Now, Graves is fine with killing vampires. He's got plenty of guts. What sucks is arresting vampires. He has no good way to do it and doesn't see the point, and neither do I. So by saying case closed, he was testing the waters for being able to call this off without disobeying an order. It didn't work, but I see what he was doing now. I give him props for trying. Officer Graves, I now rescind the non-extermination order on Hemos. You're talking, babe. You are authorized to exterminate Hemos, <laughs> Sweet though deal. it would be of some interest to interrogate him. Trax first became aware of Dr. Vetus Hemos in 1987. Hemos came to Trax with a proposition. In exchange for his own survival, he would provide vital information on vampiric activity. We accepted. Statisticians have noticed a significant drop in so-called serial killing since that time. Only tonight did we discover that Hemos had an agenda all his own. Reanimating the dead. We suspect for the purpose of attacking tracks. Hemos has violated our agreement. Therefore, you are authorized to exterminate. All right, all right, big surprise. We made a deal with a vampire and he played us. How much you want to bet Hemos only came forward because he had vampire competition and wanted us to do the dirty work? Sounds like the other vampires or Hemos himself were already marked for death. This is classic vampire. We made a deal with the devil for something that was already going to happen anyway. And why is Hemos trying to reanimate the dead? He's a vampire. He can just sire more. Maybe his progeny were getting a little too uppity for his taste, so he wanted something more obedient. Though I don't think that's what he got either. Well, we track him down and he turns into a bat on us. Should we take the shot? Eh, let's take the shot. Boom! Okay, I guess we did it! This is fried chicken. Say, either if uh, he must ain't gonna be needing this car. Leave the car to be discovered by police. You are now off duty. That's what I get for asking. Oh, he's just gonna go home? He's not gonna assist walking? Maybe we shouldn't leave a computer in charge of operations like this. All right, walk-in, time to redeem yourself. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Oh, of course. Okay, let's shoot him, even though that never works. It sucks. Yeah, now it works. Okay, chasing him down. All right, whoa, whoa, let's pause here. What's wrong with this picture? We have him completely cornered and the gate's locked. We know he's vulnerable to water. Seems like extinguishing him is a pretty good idea. I mean, what's supposed to happen if we press follow him? The only way he can go is through us. All right, extinguish, even though this is probably too easy.
Congratulations, Officer Walken. Suggs appears to be dead. I regret that you were not able to follow him to his recharge point. That's because you're a computer. Your work here has been excellent. Damn Skippy it has! The only problem is that you have thus far failed to locate Dr. Hemos' secret lab. Please come closer. We are very concerned about what might be brewing there, even though the doctor is dead. Phil Graves. I didn't notice that earlier. Yeah, that's up there with Max Payne. Okay, okay, so this was the good ending, but we need to get the best one, right? Well, as a detour, one of the loose ends was if we went to the hospital straight from the apartment. I like how Graves handles the nurse. Yeah, I need some help, hey, lady. Excuse me, sir, you'll have to fill out this Why don't you save a tree, sister? I'm not here for treatment. I'm looking for Dr. Vetus Hemos. Dr. Hemos is no longer affiliated with the hospital, sir. I can't say I blame him. Any idea where he went? Uh, I'm not supposed to talk about it, but it caused quite a scandal. Scandal? Well, I, he was doing some very controversial research. Oh, I could get fired for telling you this. I'm snagging a card. It saves on conversation. Who are you anyway? Oh, sorry, ma'am. I'd get fired for telling you. Please don't tell anyone that I told you this. I have to wonder if this scene isn't real and it's just how Graves imagined this going down in his head. Just walking in, doing what he wants, and the nurse is overwhelmed by his presence. Plus, you may have noticed that muddy effect. There, like that. That's called frame blending. It almost always looks awful and you can't fix it once it's done. You never want to see this as a video editor. And I think this is the only time this happens in the game. So, yeah, I'm gonna call this Graves Daydream. Especially since he gets captured by Hemos and is injected with something. Then Walken has to come save him. Then we're given the choice of putting him down or showing Mercy. Well, I already played one ending with one agent dead. Let's show Mercy. Oh, thanks, Trax. I don't know what you're going It's me! Yep. Yep. <laughs> Officer Walken is dead. Officer Graves is a servant of the undead. Now stretch. You are soft-hearted. This is not acceptable to Trax. May your future ventures be more successful. Damn, this is like getting fired from a real job. Okay, okay, let's do it right. We hold our fire and track down Hemos to his lab. Lovely. We... Follow the reanimated guy. Okay. Yep. Yeah, it was still a dumb idea. Now we track him down to the lab. Walk it, watch your back. It ain't gonna happen, Hemo. But you didn't shoot him. So good job, Walken. We're proud of you. I take back all those nasty things I ever said about you. Well, that was certainly worth staying alive for. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, what a rush. Whoa. Well, we missed an opportunity for them to start shooting back to back, but it was still pretty good. Gotta get a hold of some eyeballs for Nicole Novak. You have eliminated the succubi. Hemos and Suggs and both officers are still alive. You are to be commended. Smile. I will recommend a full promotion for you. Oh, that's it, huh? Lame. We deserve a better ending than this. We needed some rock music here and footage of them riding on their motorcycles or something to play us out. Here, I'll save this the best I can. Well, aside from the ending, the game was fun for what it was. Really, it reminded me of an episode of the show Cops. But you know what Cops has that this game doesn't? A great theme song. I think everyone in the world at this point has heard Bad Boys because of Cops. Well, I guess that's why this is an obscure game instead of a classic. We figured it out. Uh, awards time. Best twitching computer ghost head. 
Even though she wasn't fully rendered, I can't remember the last time I watched and listened to a twitching head this much. And if you're going to take anything away from this game to dream about tonight, I think this is it. Okay, that's the Halloween episode. Stay tuned for the Halloween episode. And to mix it up, I'm gonna try something different where instead of a spooky game, I'm gonna have something calming, even meditative. No, just kidding, it's more vampires. This is Gene's world.